Be comfort. Time is 7 p.m. 7 a.m. and it's time out for the weather magician and the traffic magician. The weather magician and the traffic magician with Peter J. Wiggins. The morning report. Thursday, April 18th, 2013. Good morning to you all. Current conditions at 7 a.m. in North Massachusetts. Temperature is... Dozens of homes and businesses in the blast zone. The number of dead and injured still being determined as the search for survivors goes on. We're live at the scene. Developing now the Boston Blast. The FBI Temperature is... A young man seen leaving a bag and walking away from the scene of the Boston Marathon bombings. Our investigators closing in on a suspect. And in custody, a Mississippi man behind bars this morning accused of sending letters to the president and the senator that have tested positive for the poison ricin. The latest... Temperature on at... Today, Thursday, April 18th, 7 a.m. on this April 18th, 2013, temperature 36 degrees. With a little fog in the air with a humidity of 93%, wind speed is calm. Barometer 3.39 inches, 2.34, and visibly a quarter mile. And good morning, welcome to today on a 7 day forecast goes like this. Setting today with a high near 62 degrees. Light and variable wind becoming set at 9 to 14 miles per hour in the morning. For the night, a slight chance of showers after midnight. Mostly cloudy with a low around 49 degrees. South wind around 11 miles per hour with gusts as high as 22 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 20%. Friday, a chance of showers mostly cloudy with a high near 70 degrees. South wind 10 to 16 miles per hour with a gust as high as 32 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 40%. Friday night, showers likely then showers and possibly a thunderstorm after 11 p.m. Punchy fog before 2 a.m. Low around 53 degrees. South wind about 10 to 17 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 80 percent. New rate fall amounts between a tenth and a quarter of an inch, except higher amounts possible thunderstorms. Saturday, showers likely mainly after and mainly before 1 p.m. Partly sunny with a high near 59 degrees. West winds about 8 to 11 miles per hour, with gusts as high as 26 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60 percent. In West New precipitation about between a quarter and half an inch of possible. Area Saturday night, mostly clear with a low around 33 degrees. Sunday, sunny with a high near 53 degrees. Sunday night, mostly clear with a low around 33 degrees. Monday, mostly sunny with a high near 54 degrees. Monday night, mostly cloudy with a low around 39 degrees. Tuesday, a chance of showers, cloudy with a high near 55 degrees. Chance of precipitation, 40%. Tuesday night, a chance of showers. Cloudy with a low around 43 degrees. A chance of precipitation, 40%. And for Wednesday, a chance of showers. Mostly cloudy with a high near 63 degrees. Chance of precipitation, 30%. Peter's weather phrase of the day. A sunny and terrific Thursday on store for today. 7.03 now, and it is time now for a traffic report, and we're going to focus on the back bay where it is still warded up due to police activity. Perfect Street is closed between Bolson Street and Newberry Street due to police activity. Ring Road is closed at Huntington Avenue. Belvedere Street is closed between Dalton Street and Huntington Avenue. Huntington Avenue also closed between Belvedere Street and Dartmouth Street. Huntington Avenue between Dartmouth Street and Belvedere Street is closed. Newberry Street is closed between Clarendon Street and Hereford Street. And St. James Avenue closed between Clarendon Street and Dartmouth Street. The U.S. Geological Survey reports it was equal to a two- And Cathedral of the Holy Cross, where the president, Michelle Obama, is going to come for the interfaith service at the Cathedral of the Holy Cross. Washington Street will be closed off due to the service at the Washington Street will have to be rather try some alternate routes. Traffic wise, here. O'Neill Tunnel on 93 is moving on fine from Star Drive all the way up the Mass Pike. 
Mass pack is blocked by. Until you hit some congestion spots on West Way to West Side to Exit 16 on the eastbound side on Route 16 in Newton. Otherwise, move it on by both sides from Newton all the way out to the Pooh Tunnel and out to Logan Airport in Boston. Mass pack is a little congested on the eastbound side from Route 30 in Natick, approaching Route 128 in Weston. Mass Pike is blow off on the westbound side from 128 to Sturbridge. McLeod Highway, what a is a little congested from. Uh, you were driving in the area, you saw the Waterbury initially Avenue all the way out to do the Suffolk Dads Park. Coming from something else. Route 1, not be so express yet. The south side, side is congested from Beach Street all the way out until you approach the Tobin Bridge. Otherwise, it's more off fine on the south side. side. From Route 128 in Peabody until you approach that. And, and all the way out to the Zika Bridge Connector, which Route 93 in Boston. Route 1, the move off fine from 93 in Boston to 128 95 in Peabody. 93 is congested after you get on from Route 128 in Reading. And it's move on fine until on the south outside you hit some congested spots on Route I 93 South with Route 28 exit 33 in Medford and and 93 also congested on Mystic Avenue Bridge in Somerville on Mystic Avenue exit all the way out to Assembly Square but more on five ball sides as you approach the Zaken Bridge Star Drive is more on five and Soldier Field Road is more on five Route 2 is more on five from Littleton all the way out to Cambridge until you hit a little slow spot on Route 2 as you approach Route 3 and 16 at the Fresh Pond Parkway in Cambridge. 128 is Bull Off Eye for Peabody and Gloucester on both sides. Small 120 is more on five from Weston all the way out to Peabody. You know, and 128 congested after you approach the, the, the 128 from 95 North and Darwin, and then it's bumper to bumper all the way out to the 118 exit in Dedham. So I'll have some extra time, but 128 staff is more on five from. <coughs> Mass Pike in Weston all the way out to Braintree. On the south side, north side, side, after you approach Route 24, it's bump to bumper as you approach 128, south from 24 north. Good morning, Savannah. Southeast Expressway. Congested as you. 128 is congested from 37 in Braintree. And then you put the uh, Southeast Expressway much bumper to bumper on the north bad side as bumper to bumper from Bridge Street Split all the way out to Barcy Boulevard exit no in Boston. So it lasts some extra time here. The types of injuries you would expect to see uh, following such a blast. A uh, uh, lot of laceration, some small, some larger jumps. 393 and 95, a bull off five from 120 to the New Hampshire border. Broken bones. Uh, 213 bull off five from the Thu de Lars. 495 is bull on five from Amesbury to Westbury and then 495 blow off five from Westbury to Metsfield and 495 blow off five from Metsfield to Wareham. 95, a little congested in the Norwich section as you approach 128, but otherwise blow off five from Norwood all the way out to the Rhode Island border. 24 blow on five from Randolph to the Rhode Island border. Route 3 is blow off five from Braintree to Sagamore. 140 blow off five from Taunton to Bedford here. Okay, Providence area highways are blow off five 295, 146, 95, 610 connector, 37, and 4 are blow on five from the Rhode Island state. So you're going around and it's boom, sailing. 
Yeah. We have some two closures that run out through the traffic lane close on Route 7 to Orb Street. Due to brain maintenance operations. Thank you for your time. And entry slip on I 95 at Route 15 close due to construction. And 625 20 in the in Cape Cod. And that's going to be it for the weather and traffic condition on this April 18, 2013 on Thursday. I'd be waiting to say have a good day with a good positive attitude.